Here's another one, one of my favorite bands, and this is uh, The Police. This is uh, Zenyatta Mandata. I think I pronounced that right. This has a lot of great songs on it. I think my favorite song on here is Don't Stand So Close To Me. Just because it's a classic. Um, this is also given to me by my uncle. Here's another one I found at the thrift store recently. You can see the price right there for 99 cents. Um, this is The Police Ghost in a Machine. And this always reminds me of that Predator thing. Which is really cool. The back is all black and everything. But the Predator uh, watch he had or whatever it was. It was like a... A timer for the bomb. So yeah, <clears throat> I think my um, favorite song on here is um, hmm, Spirits in a Material World. That's a good song. But there's a lot of great songs on here. If you like the police, definitely pick this album. Here's a classic. Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you like rock or if you like any music, you'll know about this album. Pink Floyd are, is great, and this really shows off their greatness, because this is an insanely great album. Every song is a classic, great album. I also have Pink Floyd, The Wall, on The Wall. So let's start with Steely Dan. Um, on The Wall, I have the first album, Can't Buy a Thrill. And now I have the uh, second album here, Steely Dan, Countdown to Ecstasy. Great, great album. Uh, it's a lot of great songs on here. My favorite song is probably My Old School. It's because it, it's really, really, really great song. Definitely, if you're still a damn fan, pick up this album. Another great album. That's Steely Dan Press of Logic. Um, I have every Steely Dan album. Uh, my favorite song in here is obviously Ricky Don't Lose That Number. It's probably why I've had this whole album. But it is an awesome album. And, uh, yeah. Next album is Steely Dan, Katie Lied. Great, great album. Uh, this has a lot of great songs on it. I guess my favorite song would be probably Black Friday. But yeah, Steely Dan, Katie Lied. Here's my favorite album of all time, and that's saying a lot. This is Steely Dan Asia. Uh, this one's a gatefold. Oh, I really didn't show you any of the gatefolds, but that's really cool. Every song on here is a masterpiece. This is the greatest album ever created, in my opinion. I've never heard an album where I can listen through the whole thing every single day. Wait, not even. Every single hour I can listen to this album. It is so perfect. If you like Steely Dan, this is the album you get. If you've heard them on the radio, get this album. Because it is amazing. Uh, here's the track listing. Black Cow, Aja, Ethan Blues, which is an amazing song. Peg. Uh, Home At Last, I Got The News, and Josie. All those songs are great, but I gotta pick a favorite, right? And that is uh, Aja, uh, the title of the album, but uh, yeah, that's the song on here, Aja. It's great. Look it up if you haven't heard it. It's amazing. The next album I got from Steely Dan is The Royal Scam, which is a really great album, too. My favorite song is probably uh, Kid Carmelian. This is a really good song. Um, yeah, this isn't an uh, amazing album like Aja, but it is a pretty good album. This is one of their last albums from their original series of records. Uh, later in like 2001, they came out with a new album, uh, but that's really hard to get on vinyl. So uh, I'm probably going to say I have the majority of the Steely Dan records. So I'm not going to spend hundred dollars on a vinyl for Steely Dan. Maybe one day. But uh, this has a lot of good songs on it. This is Gotcha. It has Babylon Sisters and Hey 19 and stuff like that. Uh, my favorite song in here is probably Hey 19 just because it's such a, a funny and great song. So yeah, that's the last one I have. Steely Dan Gotcha. This is surprisingly a great album. Now a lot of you can say it's Rod Stewart. Can't be real. But Rod Stewart was really, really good in his heyday. After he left The Faces with Jeff Beck, uh, he was really good. Uh, this is his first album after leaving them. This is Every Picture Tells a Story. And he was actually a real rocker, not a fag like he is now. But yeah, this is a really great album. Every Picture Tells a Story is my favorite song after this song. Now here's a band probably a lot of you haven't heard of, and this is Traffic. 
Um, they're really, really good. This is uh, The Low Spark of High Heel Boys is the name of this album. And my favorite song on here is The Low Spark of High Heel Boys, which is a epic song. And this is an epic album. Uh, if you just getting into traffic, this is the album to get because it is really, really good. I'm also a big fan of The Who, so I got one of their compilations, and that is uh, The Who, Meaty Beaty, Meaty Beaty, Big and Bouncy. Alright, can't really say that that fast. But yeah, there's a lot of uh, great songs on here. This is all of the earlier work that's really good. Um, the Kids Are Alright, that's a good one. Uh, my Generation, really good one. Pinball Wizard, my favorite one's probably My Generation, because that was such a revolutionary song. I sadly don't have that album yet, but I'm pretty sure I want to get it soon. So yeah, uh, this is uh, actually a really good compilation. Here's, in my opinion, one of the greatest live albums ever made, and this is The Who Live at Leeds. Uh, this has a lot of other good songs uh, from earlier albums. This was actually made in 1970. That was before they were really, really big, like they are now. Uh, but my favorite song on here is probably My Generation, because they do an amazing job. It's a 15-minute song on this, and they just go off. It is a really, really great album. I suggest you pick it up if you're a Who fan. Here's another great Who album, which I probably any Who fans heard of, and this is Quadrophenia. Uh, this actually tells like a story. It's almost like a story in a record. But yeah, it's a double LP and a gay full sleeve, which is really cool. Um, there's a lot of great songs on here, but my favorite is the one all of us probably know, and that is Love, Rain Over Me. Great, great song. This is probably unfamiliar to a lot of Who fans, and this is Tommy. Uh, this is not the original Tommy we were used to, and this is not the movie soundtrack or anything. This is actually done by the <coughs> London Symphony Orchestra and a lot of other uh, great musicians such as Elton John and everything, and they worked with the Who and made this album. And mine's not in the greatest shape, but it is almost a box set. Um, here's the records. But inside it has this book, which is really epic. See, it's the Utami. It's all their artwork in here, which is really, really, really cool. So, yeah, it has Rod Stewart plays with them. A lot of great people. Yeah. So, yeah, I like that. That's really cool looking. So, yeah, it's the Utami. This is my favorite Who album. This is uh, the Who, Who's Next. Has a lot of a lot of great songs like Bab O'Reilly, or Teenage Wasteland, a lot of people call it. Um, uh, I love you for keeping behind blue eyes. Won't get me fooled again. Uh, I mean, won't get fooled again. But, I'm stupid. <laughs> but this album cover is actually really cool because um, if you see that, they're all zipping up their flies. All not him, but all these guys just they're zipping up their flies. And on this wall, you can see little like pee stains, I guess, and they're just pissed on the wall, which is really cool. So yeah, this is a great Who album. Pick it up if you're a Who fan and if you're getting the records, because this is the best. Nearing the end, I have one of my favorite bands, and I yes, this is the album Fragile. Great, great album. Uh, has the song Roundabout on it, which is definitely my favorite song from this album, if not from the whole band. Such a great song, and such a great album. Uh, yes, is a spectacular band. Definitely, definitely check them out. Another uh, great Yes album is Close to the Edge. Um, my favorite song on here is probably And You and I, which is a classic. And yeah, definitely a really good Yes album. So here's the last record in my collection, and that is uh, Yes Songs by Yes. Um, this is a triple LP live, um, live album. And it folds out a lot. Look at that. The artwork is spectacular inside of here. Now this is all the greatest songs uh, live though. Um, I gotta say Roundabout is still my favorite. They do a great live version of it on here. So yeah. Great Yes album.
Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, my idea for this channel is to separate my record videos from my gaming videos just to, uh, so it can differentiate so I don't uh, bombard you with too much stuff at once. So I'll do, be doing some record pickup videos pretty soon. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you collect records, tell me. Um, if you have any records, tell me. Uh, records are really awesome. And that's another one of my hobby, hobbies. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.